I want to talk to you uh, momentarily about your day job because I need to get your take okay. on something that we talked about on this show. Uh, at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Yes. Titus O'Neil was running to the <laughs> ring. And he slipped. And in a clip that has been played, it play was played multiple times that evening. It's been played ad nauseum on Monday Night Raw. It's been uh, plastered across all WWE social media platforms. And a Titus O'Neil slipped and fell under the ring t-shirt has been produced by WWE. Uh, but one of the big takeaways from people was the fact that you were not able to maintain your composure. I completely fell apart. Yes. And from my from my position on the opposite side of the ring. So so where Corey's sitting, and uh, uh, Anthony, why don't you help Troy find the video so so we can play it on uh, where Corey's sitting. Titus is running towards him directly at me. They're in Saudi Arabia. There's a lot. Uh, there's a lot uh, put into this show. It's a giant show. Very very big production. Right. And uh, uh, Titus O'Neil is running to the ring. He, it's a battle royal. It's a Royal Rumble. He slips, and somehow Titus O'Neil is a wrestler. He managed to slip, go under the ring, under the apron, and actually completely there. He <laughs> He's still laughing. I cannot <laughs> look at him. It goes all the way. He dis- so Titus O'Neil is like six 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 seven. He's a big human being. And that just could not have worked out any better. So where I'm sitting, you know, when we're calling the show, we're taught to call what's on the monitor in front of us. Yes. I'm like four hours deep into calling the show, so I'm just kind of looking around, looking up in the ring, and I see Titus come running down. Titus just disappears. (laughs) (laughs) So if you can get a clip with the audio, you can hear it in my voice. I go, oh. oh, Okay, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, let's... uh... Week here in Saudi Arabia, he's had dinner with many princes and very important people, and he oh. just... <laughs> oh my God, what the heck? What did Titus just... I can't believe what I just saw. Did that oh. really happen? Oh my God. Oh my God, did that happen? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Titus, yeah. oh. you... Try to slide into the ring. <laughs> Let's just move on and forget about it. I can't believe this. <laughs> Okay, not oh my God, here's the replay. Titus O'Neil trying to get into the ring, and Titus O'Neil tripped and went head first through the apron underneath the ring. And Titus is ticked off now. You know what's the greatest thing ever? Watching the clip, hearing Corey Graves laughing uncontrollably on the clip, and then having Corey Graves here laughing uncontrollably at him, laughing uncontrollably of the clip. This is Inception. It was a, it's inception. It, it to this day. I mean, I've watched wrestling for thirty years. Yeah, and that is possibly the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it was. It was just you couldn't. It was unbelievable. Here's the thing. Even in that exact, you're like, well, you know, circumstances change in that exact moment, that exact scenario, that exact match. Fifty people ran right. to the ring. Fifty, one at a time. Only one of them tripped and slid all the way under the ring. <laughs> it wouldn't have been as good had he not disappeared. No, he went all the way under. <laughs> he vanished. <laughs> but the, so we've been talking about it afterwards, obviously. And th- thank Did God. Did you spend a long, a long time breaking down? Well, the, no, like, wait, well, just amongst amongst the the wrestlers and yes. everybody. The, the usually that side of the ring is an LED board. On Monday Night Raw or SmackDown, it's a big LED. Right. If he does that with that ring, yeah. he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Which makes it a lot less funny. Well, was, also, there's a cross beam under there. I was just looking. Like the frame of the ring. It looked like there was a cross beam immediately to his right. If he had if he had fallen in any other position or one step closer to the ring, he probably would have decapitated himself. But he didn't, so it's hysterical. Right. But right. at the moment, like, th- there was. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> see him back out from yeah. under the ring. Is there anything funnier than watching a guy who's six foot seven, a giant athlete with no pants on, having to crawl backwards from under the <laughs> And then he gets in the ring and he's obviously embarrassed and he just starts beating the shit out of people. <laughs> watch him. He, he hits poor Elias so hard, but it knocked Elias' teeth. <laughs> Because because he's pay- go back go backwards a little bit when he first gets into the ring because now I've I've never seen watch him- this he hits Elias so hard I thought he no, killed him back oh, even wait. further when he actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah, yeah. right there you're good okay he R- goes in the ring he disappears and then we're waiting for him to all right now he's crawling out <laughs> <laughs> he gets in the ring and he's he's, he's pissed he's watch. pissed oh, he's just there's, there's one <laughs> and he boots oh a couple boots. 
And here's the one. Oh, Watch I just this. kicked him right Get in the ready. face. Watch. And here it goes. And Jeez. Oh, <laughs> it's not even a wrestling no, move. He just, just threw his forearms in his face because <laughs> he's pissed. You think he's embarrassed? Oh, in the God. moment, he's embarrassed, right? Oh, he had to be. The ref, be. Yeah. The ref on be. the side, was his, he just puts his, fa- his hands to his mouth. Because he, he's supposed to be impartial. He's not supposed to laugh. It's unbelievable. Oh. I'm sure this is great radio where we're just laughing Dude. at something that people can't see. People love it. We'll tweet out the video so everybody can see oh, it. Oh, my God. It's incredible. No, are you sitting there? Because I saw it, it was you and Byron Saxon and Michael Cole were on commentary. You're losing it. Michael Cole is proclaiming it as the greatest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> it seemed like Byron was kind of trying to move on. <laughs> Byron, bless his heart, yeah. was just trying to just trying to let's pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. No, but By- then. Byron you know, is a nice guy. Byron is a saint. So was it him? Like, was he making an effort to be like, let's not tease? I think he was just kind of like, okay, that was maybe the biggest botch in the history of the business. Let's not talk <laughs> about it. I think he was just trying to keep the train on the tracks. Right. Cole was kind of, you know, he, he could have gone either way. I was completely derailed. No, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, were, I was broken. Yeah. Now, <laughs> were you when something like that happens, do you get happy that clearly the company's perspective like the bosses the director of the show vince mcmahon clearly agree with you in the sense that it was replayed 150 times well that's why i kept like once i realized what happened and they played the replay i felt like it was okay to laugh right. obviously I, I i tried to stifle it for a minute but it didn't it work. didn't work at all and then it just became a rib to see i think how long they could keep me laughing because the <laughs> The guy after Titus uh-huh. made his entrance, right. was in the ring. I talked about him for a solid 30 seconds, yeah. and then they fired the replay of Titus two more times, <laughs> which like minutes after it had happened, and I was just like, okay, obviously they're all in on the joke too, so. Uh, right. Yeah, it's one uh, of my one of my favorite things. Definitely one of the hardest, uh, it's definitely the hardest I've worked since I've, uh, hardest hardest I've laughed. laughed since I've done commentary. Yeah, so. I mean, I've never, I, I've never seen you re-laugh. That's something and when you watch it yeah. <laughs> again. Yeah, usually like the joke, once you hear it three or four times, it's like, oh, yeah, that was funny at one point. No, right. It's still great. It's timeless. Is it one of those things that like creeps in? Like when something happens here, when somebody fucks up, like there's this moment where Travis is sitting in a chair. He jumps in the chair and, and he went like this and, his, and the chair collapsed and he fell. But the reason it's so great was because the moment it was collapsing, Travis knew and he goes, oh, no. <laughs> and, and he falls to the ground and like every now and then I'll be doing something it'll even be something serious and like Travis saying oh no will creep into my head and it would just make me it'll give me the giggles it, it was like that for at least the next 24 to 36 hours I remember we were on the plane I was sitting next to Baron Corbin on the flight home from Saudi and I pulled up the WWE Network on my phone and played it again and we just laughed like little children and the other thing that does that for me and it, Right, because the guys in the ring and stuff wouldn't have seen right. what well, was going well, no, on. No, nobody knew. Like, I yeah. was asking, you know, if anybody saw it, and most so, of them didn't. Most of them were busy doing whatever, you know. So poor Elias is sitting there going, like, why did you just punch the <laughs> shit out of me? <laughs> right. Just directly in the face. But um, the other thing that does it for me, for, for you, your, your laugh at inopportune times, yeah, yeah, yeah. is the scene in uh, Family Vacation yeah. where Chevy Chase has the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> they're pulled off to the rest stop. Oh yeah. And he starts dancing and he opens and the he, sandwich. But he's like he's like sashaying as he yeah. dances. Like he's... I for some reason that will always break me. Okay. <laughs> God damn here, it. here he is. Here's this here. is my weakness. He pulls it apart and blows a kiss. There yeah. he is dancing. Okay. There's Christy Brinkley. Just this is <laughs> Graves is losing it. I, <laughs> he's opening the sandwich. Like, look what's inside. It's, <laughs> no matter what happens, <laughs> it's just something to face with. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I can't not with it. That... <laughs> and then he realizes it's piss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that that entire thing. I could no matter what's happening. Right, I could be in a really bad situation, and I'll think of that scene, and it just breaks. You're me crying. Down. I'm crying. You're right crying, now. laughing. I, it's literally my favorite thing. We hit you with Titus and Chevy Chase and dancing with back. the sandwich in vacation. I'm, it wasn't I'm good. done. You want to hear the Travis clip that gets me? Yeah. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> One more time. Yes, please. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, Nick in Detroit has a question for you, uh, Corey Graves. Nick, <laughs> what's hey. going on, Nick? Hey, Sammy, how you doing, buddy? Good, pal. I wanted to ask you, uh, both of you, actually, what do you think was a bigger flub, the this recent fall by uh, this guy or the Shockmaster when he came to the stage so, and he uh, completely embarrassed himself? That's I, the question on everybody's mind, and we've analyzed the Shockmaster clip. I mean, the Shockmaster clip goes way beyond pro wrestling, and I think this clip does, too. That's why I brought it up this morning. We've analyzed that clip over time. We've now analyzed this clip. I mean, you were there, Corey. Uh, I'm going to say for entertainment value personally, I like the Titus one better. But in the grand scheme of catastrophe, right. Shockmaster's career was ruined. It destroyed That man. was the first time that the, the world would, was going to be exposed to this new character. who was supposed to be this big hero. And he fell through a wall and his Stormtrooper helmet fell off. And he never, ever, ever recovered. Titus is fine. Titus was on Raw the next night. Now he's a t-shirt. Right. Right. So, Corey, let's watch what that T-shirt is based on, though. If you could watch, uh, let's watch Titus again. Let, let, let's take a look at when Titus runs to the ring. Okay, there he is. Busy week here in Saudi Arabia. He's had dinner with many princes and very important people, and he oh. just. <laughs> <laughs> Titus just. I can't believe what I just saw. Did that really happen? Oh my god! Oh my god! Did that happen? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes. Titus, uh -huh. did you try to slide into the ring. <laughs> Just move on. Forget about so it. Look at you see him just, <laughs> just okay. nail a lot, and there's the replay. Titus and Neil try to get into the ring, and Titus and Neil through the apron underneath the ring. Thank God that he didn't know that they were just replaying the shit out of it, because he would have been even more pissed. Just oh, like, yeah. hitting everybody in sight. Oh, it's just great stuff. It's just great stuff. We should uh, we should take a break. You well, like that, on. Troy? I love it. I yeah. I would I would not be doing my job if I didn't. Uh, Except a request from Roland. Oh. He wants to know, and I, this is not me, this is Roland. Okay. He wants to know what Corey Graves' thoughts are on another really embarrassing wrestling clip. Oh. That's, <laughs> Roland, you're not a friend. You're, you're not, you're not a friend. Uh, go good. Let me, let me see it. You already know what it is, uh, Troy. Yeah. I'm just, I might have a hard time finding it. Cause was it on, did we have that video or, or did, where did that come from? Uh, I uh, no, we just watched it on YouTube. I believe you have to go through. You have to go to the show on YouTube. It's if you if you look up WrestleMania kickoff. Oh, I think I know. It's I think... it's about an it's it's just over an hour in. <laughs> I um timestamp. No WrestleMania kickoff. Yeah, the, that was just me the... saying WWE. That wasn't that big of a deal. It's just yeah WrestleMania. Just look up the WrestleMania WrestleMania thirty three kickoff. You don't have to put Sam Roberts in, because it'll be the whole show, and then uh... was that or oh, thirty four maybe? Yeah, man, I was gonna say. I, 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 I think you did last. I well, didn't. I, didn't I haven't this. seen this yet. I, I heard oh. about it. Oh, good. I heard about. Oh, it. oh that great. makes it even better. Mutual <laughs> friend. I just assumed he had seen it already. No. Did you hear good things? It's an hour. In. I, I heard. Yeah. You hear good things? Yeah, great things. Okay, it's uh, it's before, might be between the panel and the ring. So it's after, it's just slightly after this. Yeah, there it there is. There you are. There we go. Yeah. I don't know. Hang on. I can't, me... I can't watch it. You spend entirety Hang on. on WrestleMania. On WrestleMania? Yeah. Yeah, yeah scroll a little. Another one of our okay, here you go. He's hanging out amongst the WWE Universe. Sam it's the Roberts. worst. Take it away. I hope that they're being nice to you out there. They're being nice to me right now. It is electric out here. I got goosebumps. This is a WrestleMania built for the WWE Universe. I mean, we got dream matches like uh, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Daniel Bryan is finally coming back. Fans have been chanting Rusev Day for the last hour and a half. I mean, there's, there's fans everywhere. Everywhere. It's unbelievable, the energy that's in this place. And... Action is coming uh, 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 tonight here on the kickoff show. There's going to be all kinds of stuff. We're going to have a, 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 a women's battle royal. We're going to have the cruiserweight champion being crowned tonight. There is action on the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the action's about to uh. <laughs> like, The incredible stare. I can, I can sympathize with you. I've been there where you're like, okay, the, the on camera's finished. Why are you still showing you're me? You're still here. 
What about that middle part? I like the <laughs> action. action. Uh, <laughs> that was that was fantastic. You know I'm what I didn't I appreciate that. whatsoever? Uh, Roland gleefully, uh, he had his arm over Travis's chair and just smiling <laughs> as he en- just just really really enjoying, really 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 sinking the. Just, it was a Roland's not a man enjoyment. who likes to get too close. It's, it's yeah. Like Cobra Kai, my friend. Don't yeah. <laughs> Roland was watching that clip like he looks at a five course meal. Like he was really like, this is going to be enjoyable. <laughs> that was a great moment in wrestling history. You like that That'll one? That'll go down as, yeah. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad I have your support. That's great. That's great. That's why I even like, I even had to be careful like how much I goofed on the Titus O'Neil thing because it didn't take long. I had to tweet out the video. And uh, and I was like, I had some joke. I can't even remember what I said about Titus O'Neil. And the first Twitter reply is action. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, who am I? Uh, who am I to good. criticize anybody at this point?